Hi, Buttons. What are you doing? Oh, you want to say hi to the boys and girls. Okay, you can do that. But Buttons, we need to see you. Where are you? There's Buttons. Buttons, why do you have this hat on? And you're all wrapped up in a scarf. Buttons is cozy warm. Oh, he told me the story we had today was Thomas's snowsuit. Boys and girls, did you listen to the story, Thomas's snowsuit? Did you like it? Well, for those of you who didn't listen to that yet, I'll show you. Here's the book. Yes, Buttons is going to show you too. It's Thomas's snowsuit and it is written by Robert Munch. And if you don't have it at home, you could get it at the Her Library. All of our books that Miss Tracy reads and Buttons comes from the Her Library or the Union County Library or even wherever you are. Check out your library, okay? Good place to go. <gasps> what? Oh, I know. Buttons was asking me a question. He wanted to know if we saw any of our friends today. You know what? We did forget to look in our special mirror during story time. Should we do that now? You want to do that now? Okay, do you want to look? Buttons wants to look, so we'll let's see if Buttons can find anybody. Oh, he's excited. Who did you see? said he saw Thomas. Now who did you see? He saw Oliver. Oh, hi. Hi, Thomas. Hi, Oliver. Well, I hope all of you out there are ready for our craft today, okay? Buttons, do you want to find out what craft we're going to do today? Do you want to check? You do? Okay. Buttons, you're going the wrong way. Uh, this way, this way. Okay. All right. He's going to look into our craft box. What do you think? Aha. Uh -huh. He's going to pull out. Buttons, how about we get you untangled? He's got so much cozy clothes on. I think he's just going to get all glued up. All right. Let's get our paper out. Hmm. Buttons isn't sure what this is. What do you think, boys and girls? It looks like a puzzle piece, doesn't it? Hmm. I wonder what it could be. Well, there are two eyes, and I think this black dot could be a nose. But then what is everything else? Oh, I see a foot. Do you see a foot? And there's another foot. Hmm. What do you think we could be making today? Let's put this up on our board. We're going to tuck that. All right, so let's see what else this button's going to find. Oh, here's one of his favorites. He likes his glue. We need glue today. Oh, what are these? Crayons, okay. So we must be coloring something. Markers. Hmm. We've got markers, crayons. Oh, I see another bag. All right, you hold on to these. Color pencils. Maybe we have options. Maybe we could use crayons. Do you like crayons? He does like crayons. Okay, color pencils, markers. What do you like to use, boys and girls? Do you like colored pencils, markers? They're all fun to color with, aren't they? Yes. All right. Let's see, we need something else because we have this puzzle piece. Yeah, you're trying to figure out what that is. All right, let's see. Oh, another one of his favorite, glue stick. So if you have a glue stick or glue at home, you'll need that. Let's see, oh, buttons, you like these, but you get them mixed up. And we don't want to put them in your mouth. So we're going to show the boys and girls. These are what we call brads. Braids, brads. We have one, two, three, four, five of them. All right. 
Oh, you can put this one. Oh, he's got a cotton ball. He doesn't like that. I know, you will need a drink later. All right. Now he's got some felt. What do you think that could be? Hmm. This is a mystery. We've got felt, cotton ball, crayons, markers. Hmm. That looks like puzzle pieces, doesn't it? Ah, oh, there's that black nose. Here's the foot. Do you think that could be what it is? Let's see. Buttons, do you think there's a finished product in here? Oh, look what it is. It's a dog. There's the foot we saw and there's the black nose. But we were talking about a snowsuit in our story, not a dog. Well, what do you think we're gonna do with the dog? Oh. All right, he's thinking that that felt could be something. Hmm. Do you think this is fur? We've got two of these, and we've got two long blue things with more fur on. What do you think we could be doing? Let's see if these fit. Buttons, I need my hand. Could you go into your, and take a little nap, go into your little craft box? Is that okay? I know, playing in all that snow it made you tired. Okay, so we're gonna put him away. All right, boys and girls. Now, I think what I want to show you is this little dog, if I take this blue piece of felt and I wrap it around that gold brad and I take the other one, what do you think I could be doing to this little guy? This is like a button. I almost should have kept buttons out, shouldn't I? He's so good with buttons, and this is tough. Okay, so look what happened. Now, the puppy has his own earmuffs on. Yes, he does. Do puppies wear mittens? Some puppies do. Sled dogs do wear like a, a type of glove, a little snow covering for their feet because you don't want, they don't want to get their feet cut on the ice. So sometimes dogs do wear mittens. Oh, there's one of his mittens. And then we'll put the other one. We're gonna slip this one over onto it. There we go. Now we have a dog that is ready to go out and play in the snow and they'll stay nice and toasty warm. So let me show you what we are to do. Now, boys and girls, I want, oh, yes, he even has a tail. So when he's happy, he can wag his tail. Now, let me show you what we're going to do, boys and girls, okay? So you can gather your things if you go into the Her Library, you can go in and you can get a packet and it's going to have everything that you need in there other than your glue and scissors, those types. But it will have one of these pages and what I will want you to do with your paper is to color, before you cut out, color your dog however you want to do it. Now I... When I was doing it, I used my colored pencil, but you can use markers. You can use whatever you want to for crayons. I think to show you, I am going to use one of the crayons. Oh, 
Here is a box that has new sharp crayons. That's one of my favorite things. So I'm going to color a red circle, red spot on my dog. You can have your dog any color you want. Now most dogs are not red, are they? They could be what we call like a copper color red. Some dogs like Irish setters or golden retrievers, they can be those colors too. But I made my pieces silly colors. Look at that. Did you ever have a see a dog with blue and pink and green spots? No, just pretend. But once you get all of your pieces colored off of your paper, then I want you to go ahead and you're going to use scissors. Be very careful with them. And if you have a tough time with scissors, ask mom or dad, ask somebody to help you. And you're going to cut all of your pieces out. All right, so we're going to put those aside. So now I have all of my pieces. I am going to, there's my head, my body, my head's going to go on that. I have two feet that will go down there. I have two ears and my ears are even different color and one little tail. So what I'm going to do next is, remember I said about these funny brads, they kind of look like buttons, buttons with back pieces to it, like arms that's going to hold it on. You will find out on all of your pictures, all of your pieces, there's going to be marks and it's going to say A, A, B, B, C, C, D. I was helping you know where to put your ears and your feet. So one of those letters you're going to match up. This may be A, I'm not sure if yours is going to be A up here or B up here, but I'm going to stick my brad through the ear and then I'm going to poke it through his head. That sounds hurtful, doesn't it? And I'm not going to spread it out right yet because I've got to get his earmuff on. Then I'll take another one, another one of our gold, going to poke it through the hole in the ear, just like that. And then it's going to go through the other hole up on the dog's head. So now we have a dog with two ears. Look at those silly colors. Alrighty. How about we do the same thing with our feet? And I forgot to tell you this point, this part here, and maybe you should have mom or dad help you with this. Those marks, the A, B, C, Ds, and Es, I took something pointy, which my scissors are very pointy, and I poked a hole in them just to get it started. So when I have to push my gold brads through, I can do that a little more easily. So I'm pushing my brad through my foot, through the dog's foot, and then push one through his belly, just like that. Now he has one foot. Then I'm gonna push another one through his other foot. Sometimes these can be tough, but you stay strong. Don't give up. Don't get too frustrated. Take a deep breath if you need to, that's okay. And now we're gonna push through there. So now boys and girls, you should have a body with two feet, okay? What are we missing? We're missing his tail, aren't we? And I didn't put a hole in that. I don't wanna fight with it, so I'm gonna give it a little help. I need his tail. This one I'm gonna put through the body first. And then I'm going to put the tail behind 
You can do it either way, but I have my tail behind it because it kind of looks like he's sitting on his tail, doesn't it? So now my dog has his tail so he can wag when he's happy or wants to go outside and play. That's his little way of telling you things. But our body's in two different, our dog's in two different spots, pieces, isn't it? So you'll see there's a dotted line there and it says glue head here. So I'm going to take my glue stick or you can take glue. If you have liquid glue, that's fine too. Whoops. But I'm going to put some glue right on that in those dotted lines. And then I'm going to lay my head right on there. And I lost one of my feet, didn't I? Goodness. All right, so there, I'm gonna let that dry. So right now I have my dog and you can play with him just like this. Or if you wanna get him ready for winter, you can continue with what we're doing. Now he had two feet. So you have two pieces of felt also. All right, now the ones that you will have in your bag already had a little hole cut in them. These, I did not do that to, so you're gonna have to be patient with me as I cut, there we go. This one did have a hole. So each one, your blue piece, and I'm gonna stick this through. You can see there is a hole up here. This is the top. That's where you're going to attach it to your dog's ear. And up there, see, there's a hole up there. All right, now we're gonna make his ear muff first. So you're going to take your blue ear muff, and I think all of them, they are all blue. So your long piece of felt. I'm gonna use my glue stick. It worked really well last night, and it seems it's the most simple. So I just put a strip of glue right on the edge. And now I'm going to take my cotton ball and I'm just gonna peel little pieces off. And I'm going to attach that to the edge of my earmuff. So it looks like he has a furry muff on. So this is what happens. Do you see that, boys and girls? So you're going to do that to both of your earmuffs. I'll do that to the other side. And remember, try to remember, don't cover up that little hole. Because that's how we're going to button it on. Oh, yes, buttons likes to use that word too. Buttons. Button on his earmuffs. So now I have two earmuffs for his, my dog. Now, what about his little boot covers? I'm going to put some glue right along the top. But again, your hole is there, so we can't cover up that hole. That's important for us to attach them. So I'm going to Put some fur. Oops, I'm not doing it back far enough. There we go, boys and girls, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do that without showing you. So there, now I've got a furry boot for my dog. And do that with the second one. How many feet does a dog really have? What? You're right. They really have four feet. Most dogs have four feet. But our silly dog that we're making only has two. It just looks like it's sitting and he must be sitting on his other feet. So now, since he has two feet, what do we have here? We've got two boots. 
So how are we going to attach them, you ask? All right, I'll show you. And I've got cotton stuck on my fingers. All right, here are our, here's our dog. Now remember I didn't attach, I didn't press apart our little brat on his ear. I'm going to, it sort of sticks out. You're going to attach that little hole. Remember I showed you there was a little hole in the felt. And I'm trying to find it, boys and girls. There it is. It was hiding on me. There it is. I got it. Thank you for cheering me on. I needed that extra help. Now, boys and girls, I'm going to spread the back. I spread the braids, the braids apart, okay? So now he's not going to lose his ear muff and he's not going to lose his ear. So we have to do the same thing with the other ear muff. So look for the hole. This one was easier for me to. You must have really been cheering for me. All right, so I have that on. I'm gonna flip him over and I'm going to spread that apart so he doesn't lose his ears. We don't want him to lose his ears, do we? Then he won't be able to hear the squirrels chattering outside. Now what's missing? Oh, he doesn't have his boots on. I did the same thing. So remember, in our boots, we have a little hole. Here comes that little button through the hole. There we go. I found it. It can be a little tricky. And then I'm gonna flip it over and we have to spread this apart also. So we've got two ears and one boot on. Let's do the same to the last boot. The braid goes right through that little hole. Oh, that one went on in a snap. You guys are good. You must be saying, go Miss Tracy, go Miss Tracy. She can do it. I did it with your help. Wonderful, thanks for being my friends, boys and girls. Uh-oh, but I don't think I put enough glue on that. I had extra fur floating around. So there you go, boys and girls. You've got a dog that is all ready to go out into the snow, ice, or just out in the chilly weather. Or you can take off and you can have a dog a friend to play with inside, all right? Well, boys and girls, I hope you have enjoyed that craft. I sure did. I like making things different colors. I know they're just pretend, aren't they? It's just in my imagination. This silly guy, I like his blue, big blue belly dot. All right, boys and girls, so you remember, if you go to the HER library, you can pick up your craft packet, okay? And you'll be able to make a dog just like we did today, okay? And you can get him bundled up. It's not quite a snowsuit like Thomas had, but it's one way that you can keep your dog warm. So you remember, you always have fun. You always uh-oh. What? Oh, no. I heard something. Oh, dear. I can't see you. Boys and girls, what was that? Oh, goodness gracious. I goofed. What did I do? Oh, I'm so sorry. I almost said that word and I forgot buttons. You want to tell the boys and girls? Okay. All right. So Button says, always be nice, be a friend. And what's that last word that you like? Okay, I'm gonna, I gave him a kiss, I just had to. Button says, be kind, okay? 
So boys and girls, I'll see you next week. All right, you take care, have fun, be nice, be kind. Okay, we'll see you later. Bye-bye. Buttons, you turn us off. All right, good job.